What I have here is the um, Montreal Out Dry. Um, I ordered mine in uh, Christmas uh, last year. I didn't start wearing them until February um, this year. So this is um, May 1st or May 4th. So may the 4th be with you. But um, so really, I've only been wearing them March, April, May. Um, two and a half months at the at the most, so I only have about a hundred and twenty five miles on this shoe, which I don't consider to be very high miles for a um, a trail shoe, um, especially one that builds itself as being a rugged trail shoe. Um, the miles that I've done on the trail, only I would consider about twenty of those to be very challenging miles, very rocky or rugged. Um, most of the trails have been relatively uh, mild, uh, muddy, um, hard pack trail, not very rocky. But um, what I've ha started experiencing with the Mon Trail Out Dry is the sole has started delaminating. What's on the bottom here is you have these cutout portions on the sole. I think there are uh, seven of them on the front part of the shoe where that there's a small separation between each of these cutout sections that's um, I think a continuous part of the sole and what's happening is where the cutout portions are it appears that the rubber is delaminating so what's happening is I can take my finger and I can pull the rubber back and um, what's happening is on least my strides where the it catches on a rock or the hard pack it's pulling that rubber up and so and each of these little grids or um, gills almost is what they are you have that pulling apart and that's happening on both shoes it's not happening on just one shoe or the other both shoes for each of these little cutout portions is experiencing that delamination of the of the sole where the bottom part of the sole is coming off it's coming separated and it's happening to such a great extent that on most of these grids I can put a dime or penny or some other type of coin um, or anything in there and it's actually causing the rubber to fail and to rip and the, on my, on my uh, this just would be my right foot the rubber is already torn there I'm not sure if you can see that or not but um, the rubber is torn so pretty disappointed in these shoes they fit really well but um, this is uh, I feel some sort of design failure so luckily I bought them through REI um, so I'm going to take advantage of REI's um, return policy because this is obviously a defective product I contacted Montrail as well but um, they said I was going to have to pay for shipping to get it back to them and um, I feel that this is such an extreme failure that I'm just going to return it um, unfortunately REI uh, doesn't carry Montrails at this point so um, I'm just going to get reimbursed for the uh, expense and probably change brands um, I don't really want to put myself in a situation where I'm out on trail and do experience some sort of failure like this in the future and not be in a situation where I can wait two four weeks to uh, get a return um, uh, for return to get processed and handled. So I'm kind of disappointed. This is my first experience with switching over to these trail shoes. Um, um, not I've been satisfied with the 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 weight and the 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 weight savings with the shoes, the heat savings with the shoes, the comfort level with the shoes. Switching over from a full a full boot, which is what I was wearing before. Um, these shoes have been great, but I am pretty dissatisfied that the sole of the shoe um, doesn't seem to be designed to hold up under any sort of moderate um, trail conditions. Uh, well, I'll probably post uh, um, what I end up going with, what shoe I end up switching over to. Um, kind of disappointed with these.